Good morning, everybody. Thanks for uh, stopping in to uh, tag along with me. And man, what a beautiful day for a hike this is. Clear sky, not a cloud in the sky. And it's about 40 degrees this morning. A little breezy. But we are at the uh, Fair Hill Natural Resources area in Elkton, Maryland. Out for a uh, quick, uh, probably 10 to 12 miles a day doing some JMT training. Uh, just start getting some exercise and back in. I'm out here today with uh, three of my buddies. Uh, two of them will be familiar faces if you watch your videos, Gary and Brian. And uh, I got one new guy. His uh, name Dan. So we're just out here. We've been on the trail for about 10 minutes now. And uh, man, couldn't have asked for a better day. It is just perfect for hiking. Yeah, so basically guys, we are out today and we're trying to get in shape for the, the John Muir Trail coming up in July. And we all have our full packs on, uh, pretty much full weight. I'm carrying everything, the, the gear and everything that I'm supposed to be taking. I know some of the other guys don't have everything yet, so they're just filling their packs with weight at this point. But uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're getting to it. Really excited to be going out there again this year. All the planning and all the permits and everything have really laid out just perfect. Everything's in place. Uh, hopefully everything keeps up with that kind of luck. Another water crossing here. Pretty cool. <laughs> Another horrible. See, one of the things I have to get used to following this is see how they uh, try to get the uh, you know, get in the shoulder straps. Did you adjust the uh, torso? Um, I didn't have to, I don't think. But I'm like, okay, where's the strap at? Ah, there. Because you, I, I thought you would have to go down to the uh, smallest setting. I think it requires um, not. I don't think the torso adjusts up or down. Strictly the shoulders do. No, the torso does too. It does? Yep. I need to figure it out. Depending on where they're positioned, it's like they're so far back and there's tension on these things, that's why like, the zippers don't really work too well. Yeah, these so work bad if I just got an add on? Bit. No, they, that's standard. Oh, they come, yeah. But, I mean, you can rip them. And you'll reposition like them. You can yeah. reposition them. Yeah. Yeah, I've actually talked to Austin about that and I asked him to get one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I've, ha I've had mine for a while. I have, I've not had issues, but you know, mine's, you know, I know you've had, people can have issues. Leakage, yeah. <laughs> that would be me. That would be yeah, you yeah and, and I heard about you, and I'm like, <laughs> and I run hydration all the time. I'm used to a hydration pack issues yeah. with this pack, with that bare canister and everything in there. Yeah. yeah. See, you know, I've done much. mine with, without any problems, but he was saying, eh. But Paul did something like you've got now. Mm hmm. So 
So I've got the, uh, the wind muff on the GoPro again. I'm hoping this is going to work out well for me on the JMT. I've always had a problem with this camera. When you get up on the passes and peaks and open areas, you know, the wind just totally blows out your voice. Uh, so far I've had good luck. It's just a little foam, uh, foam wrap around the GoPro and it covers most of the mics. I think there's one that's still left open, but you get enough uh, recording that you're, uh, you're sitting golden. Yeah, when we had that ice storm a few weeks ago, they had a lot worse up here. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. So we'll probably see a lot of down stuff. Okay. We're going right. Yeah, that, that probably just hits the road in another spot. <laughs> Alright, so we just took a uh, just took a little break here. Uh, I'll just uh, introduce you guys to who I'm hiking with today. So yeah, there's Gary, the funny one. <laughs> Papa Smurf. Yeah. Uh, Brian over here. Him, him and uh, Dan. Say hi, Dan. Dan's the FNG. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not carrying anybody back. <laughs> so we're just uh, He's a young one. <laughs> we're gonna head down to the left here. We're gonna go down to the covered bridge and then hit the orange loop and uh, head on from there. Uh, I think we're about what three miles into it at this point, something like that. Yeah, almost three. So oh we'll uh, see you guys down the trail. <laughs> Alright, so we just made it to the uh, Fox Catcher Farms covered bridge behind me. And uh, this is where the orange loop we're going to pick up. And uh, probably do about five, five miles roughly. Yeah, and you're, you're, you're similar. You're rubbing with that. I'm right. rubbing with this. Yep. I never read anything about it way back when, when I first got them. I said, well, this is the most important one. What do I do with that strap? I put my hand underneath of it. There's some interesting old structures here. <laughs> These things go back to the, uh, the 19th century. So this up here on the right is the, uh, I believe it's their office and nature center for the uh, resource area. And we're going to head up here and cross the stream and head up into the uh, hilly area back here. It used to be the orange loop, but now I'm not so sure because with the new parking lot they put in back there, the Orange Trail was marked on the opposite side of the Big Elk Creek, so they must have changed something. I'll need to see if they got a new map. Carry roll anyway.
I guess we're going this way. Yep. Oh, that yeah. looks interesting. That's well, there's a blaze right there, but... I think that's one of the connector trails. The whole trail system runs parallel to this one, like well, down saw. in the woods. Yeah. yeah. On the map. All right, it's lunchtime. We're gonna be dropping some packs here and grab a bite to eat. Uh, we're on one of the main roads here in the uh, in the park. I don't know which one this is, but take a little breather and get some lunch. All right, Gary, what's for lunch? I have the breakfast, the lunch of champions. I have peanut butter crackers. Vienna sausage. Ooh, Sweet. Vienna's. <laughs> hey, guys, want to team up with me? We can get them from them. <laughs> we can what take them. What are my staples? I don't think I'll be able to take them <laughs> on the trail with me when I go up to New York. I may do it like my first meal out, out from a, a resupply, but the, they don't hold up. They don't hold up very long. <laughs> what do you got, Dan? Nuts. Nutrition. Huh. Good stuff. I guess it's probably pronounced nutrition. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a limb and say I'm probably right <laughs> with that. <laughs> and Mr. Brian. Oh, he's got the pretzel. Oh, he's got the, the pretzel. Wawa pretzel. Old school too. This is one of the best things I bought, man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> is he pad? Yeah, I think I'm picking one of those up. All right, and I got my uh, Starkist tuna or chicken, whatever it is, and uh, put that on some bread. Mm -hmm. Let out our way. Trade your pack for a bike. Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon my fingers there. It's a technical corner. They can move. Definitely a taste to be acquired, but you gotta learn, well, learn to like it. <clears throat> it's still one of those I, I've, you know, I've had it before, like you're saying, <coughs> yeah. and it's not something that's super sweet it's one of those or anything that's else. Healthy for you, and that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> it has similar to a Cliff Bar, mm -hmm. sort of a chocolate Cliff Bar. You gotta get wild wild pretzels on this trail. Make a phone call. I think like you're here, about no one problem. state too far west. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, they'd be on every corner. You'd be all set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is almost perfect for hiking. For, get the pump started up again. Just about as good as you can <laughs> get. Oh, mine does Not too warm. Warm enough. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that's what I found so surprising when we got out there to California. I mean, smoke put aside, the weather was just, <clears throat> you know, once you got up into the altitude, yeah, it was like 70s. You're hiking 70 degree weather. <clears throat> yeah. Full on sun, but it felt good. Well, well at night time, so you said it got down in the 30s, right? High, high well, low, low 40s. Yeah. High 30. Yeah. It just really depends. <coughs> you can have nights down in the upper 20s. Right. Depending on the weather system. At the higher, higher altitudes. <coughs> So you can tell I left Delaware. My Fitbit tells me <clears throat> I earned the lighthouse badge for climbing 50 floors. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Although waiting for the other dog is going to take. And I was reading when my brother-in-law, the other one, that got the medevac out of the uh, Yosemite <laughs> that last year. Really appreciate it. Being medevac medevaced out of Yosemite to the town, it was Mammoth he ended up at, is free. It's covered. Wow, look at that, look at that black horse. That's huge. It's huge. It's a workhorse. 
when he went to, uh, from when they went from Mammoth, they had to take him up to Reno so they could you know find out what's going on with him. Shoes. That cost. <laughs> So we're on our sixth or seventh mile now, currently on the orange loop. Uh, so we're going to come around and tap into the part of the green loop. And it's going to be sort of a road walk after that point, once we get to the road on the green section. Uh, pretty decent climb on that one. And uh, there's some old ruins we're going to stop by and visit. So it'll be interesting. Well, it looks like we stopped and finished. <laughs> we went ahead out. Yeah, yeah. My wife knew I was trying to do things. Suck the guts in. I got an elliptical. Yep. But it's a one where you can change the incline. Incline. <laughs> I can't get over how great of a day this is. I can't ask for anything better for Iken. Only thing that's missing would be the green uh, pastures and meadows. A lot of them are all, uh, you know, it's all brown right now because we're still coming out of the winter season. And uh, no bugs, so that's a plus. Clear, open sky, no clouds anywhere. Gorgeous up here. Before it gets broken up, right? Yeah, when it's coming off, yeah. You want it? You want it? A little rock to get back with it. Like a... Oh, oh, it's a big tree. <laughs> All right, this is Big Elk Creek. The water is running clear there right now. At the end of summer, it's not so clear. So we're going to be headed down, or they're headed down right now, and they're going to do a water crossing down there. It's pretty much just a uh, collapsed concrete bridge. Water is low enough right now where we don't have anything to is any issues to worry about because on the uh, high water times after storms and stuff, we're usually getting wet. I guess just the bridge is closed, not the actual trail. Yeah, I think because if you look back here from this side, well, I guess you can't quite see it from the other side. You can see that, that strip there in the middle. Yeah. It's not very thick. <laughs> it's not. Plus, it, there's a uh, an undertow here. Yeah. So if you go in on high water, you can potentially get stuck under. Yeah. Man, that is pretty. I don't know if anybody out there has ever heard of it, but Oprah Winfrey actually shot a movie here, right along here, and back in here they had a uh, little town built here, a movie set. Uh, her movie was called Beloved. Uh, I wasn't too impressed with it, but I mean, you know, to each his own. But this is where they filmed it, right in this field here. On the side of the uh, Big Elk Creek. 
So we're going to come over this rise, make a left, and we're going to climb up towards the uh, McCloskey Youth Camp site. Nice, uh, nice big hill to climb here. Good leg workout. Okay, here we go. Steady climb. Uh, it's only a single diamond. It's not. A, it's not a double diamond. <laughs> So this group up here on the left is the uh, group we talked to earlier and uh, the leader of the group there is one of the rangers used to work here. It's pretty cool talking to her about some of the history. It's probably some sort of a barn because they got the ramp here uh -huh. and then it's, it was probably like a two-story uh, Guys, we are in the home stretch here. We got about another mile to go. It's all all road walk back, and uh, we'll be back in the car. And then uh, we're going to head out to REI today. Get some uh, some gear pulling going, I guess. Make a right. That's right. That was our first lap. <laughs> What's our distance, Brian? Uh, <laughs> You're the official navigator. Like I said, I blocked off probably two miles of that. <laughs> 9.7? Nine point seven. Five hours. Oh, we gotta go 0.3 miles. <laughs> Two miles an hour with lunch. Ain't bad. I'll take that pace. All right, guys, we're at the uh, finish line here. Thanks everybody for tagging along with us today on this beautiful hike in Fair Hill. And, uh, we're going to call it a wrap. Appreciate everybody again for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you love these videos, hit the like. And uh, we'll see you next time.